man, we have to leave each other the right, give each other the right to be human. We have to. We have to uh, give each other the right to exceed, like I said, expectations, to fall below expectations. So should we even be setting expectations for one another? You know, I, I just don't know. You know, on the job, it makes sense. You have human resources on the job, but an expectation is set, right? Or you could be demoted or fired or reprimanded. Expectation is set to do that job. So it's perfectly understandable. But going through life in a relationship, in a friendship, is it realistic? to set expectations upon people as if they are resources. Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy, SD. Thanks for joining me. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share the content, hit that notification bell because you do not want to miss this great content. Yes, also go visit the website, atoasttothemen.com. Got some great stuff on there. Go subscribe to the mailing list. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. The other day I was listening to the guru, Sai Guru, and he made a profound statement, something that reigns truth as I really thought about it. And I kind of known this. But uh, he kind of put that thing in a proper perspective. And he stated that humans are not resources. We are only possibilities. Only possibilities. You know, when you think about resources, you think about things that have an expectation, that have a certain quality, that you know what to expect. Uh, They they do a certain thing. And when they uh, waver from that, when they don't, Uh, meet that expectation you know we can take those things back or there's definitely something wrong something's been compromised because this is the expectation and and this is what this resource does for instance water we expect a certain expectation from water you know it's a resource gold coal silver uh, even the birds right Uh, cattle these are resources we expect certain things cars shares right so this is expectation on resources true resources but humans you really can't not put an expectation on I mean you can try but they're either going to surpass the low expectation you set for them or fall below the high expectation you set for them and so that'll leave you you know uh, disappointed when they fall below and a lot of times, you no, know, we're pleased if they exceed the expectation we set, unless you're just a hater. But it's just kind of, it's just almost impossible to really make humans a resource to the point you can expect something from them, a certain quality from them day in and day out. It's, it's just impossible because we have free will, uh, we have emotions, we have uh, consciousness, and so... You know, I may feel this way one day and feel a different way the next day just because birds don't operate like that. Fish don't operate like that. Gold, oil, water does not operate like that unless something and that something most times is a human or mother nature has compromised that resource. But we're totally different. You know, we we create our orbit. We create our circumstances, uh, which is a bit different from the natural resources of the world and so man when when we do that we we just man we we end up just disappointed and angry and bitter and we end up blaming the person for not meeting our expectation but it's not that person's fault it's our fault because you know you gotta think about it man we have to leave each other the right give each other the right to be human we have to we have to uh give each other the right to exceed like I said expectations to fall below expectations so should we even be setting expectations for one another you know I I just don't know you know on the job it makes sense you have human resources on the job but an expectation is set 
right? Or you could be demoted or fired or reprimanded. The expectation is set to do that job. So it's perfectly understandable. But going through life in a relationship, in a friendship, is it realistic to set expectations upon people as if they are resources? I think we're just all possibilities. Possibilities, that's it. You know, uh, I could possibly be great. I could possibly fail. I could possibly be sad today. I could possibly be joyful. There's no consistency and, and there's no way you can depict how I'm going to be each day. There's just no way. There's no way. Uh, like you can uh, depict the, the, the behavior of a bird or a whale, right? Or fish. You know, if a, if a whale attacks you, yeah, you were definitely caught off guard, I would think. But you shouldn't be surprised. That's what whales do. That's what they could possibly do. Right? Uh, if a bird takes a dump on you or flies towards you head on, you may be caught off guard. But you know this is what birds are possibly, you know, could possibly do. And, you know, with humans, we're so emotionally tied to one another. So it just hits us harder. It hits, it hits us harder. And I've talked about this before. The expectations we have over our parents. You know, uh, we we make our parents superheroes. And to a point, I understand it. When you're a child, you think as a child. You speak as a child. You do things in a childlike manner. But when you become a man, when you become a woman, you know, you do things as a man. As in a woman, you think and act and move like a man or a woman. Uh, so I get it. But you have adults, men and women, still putting their, their, their parents on a pedestal and not giving those parents the, the freedom to be just human, to fail, to disappoint, you know, to come up short. We have to give each other that freedom. Uh, just to disappoint I think we expect people to be be perfect we have this this prototype this expectation we set in our mind we've made this person a resource and this is how this person is supposed to act this is how I expect this person to act and when they don't we're disappointed and, and a lot of times we cut off people or we have bitterness or, or uh, contention amongst each other and we just got to get past it we got to get past. And I know that's, that's a lot to ask because it requires you to be vulnerable and very transparent uh, and, and open, just open. And so it's a lot to ask. But when you release an expectation, you gain so much power. And you give that, that person the freedom to flourish. Listen, man, I've been guilty of that myself, man. I had to... At one point, as a as a young man, I had to realize, man, my mom is is just a woman. You know, she's made some mistakes, and I had to realize, man, she's just a woman. I realized that early, though, that she's she a woman. Man, she and people don't want to realize that, but like, she just she ain't much different <laughs> than the woman next door, or the woman you dated, or whatever woman. She ain't much different, man. She's a woman, but we pay, we, we we place these uh. These high expectations on people and make them superheroes, which is isn't fair. And we do that a lot of times to our spouses too. We don't give the, our spouse the room to be human, to make mistakes, and uh, you know you end up in separation, end up in divorce, you know. And uh, we gotta really get past that. And that just takes emotional intelligence. That's it, man. I don't think it's a spiritual thing so much. I don't think it's an intellectual thing. I think it's an emotional thing. We don't want to release and give up that power. It's like a controlling spirit. But uh, it takes a lot, man, to be transparent and vulnerable and say, I give you the freedom to be human. I give you the freedom to make mistakes. I give you the freedom to be great also. You know, because that expectation, that possibility can go either way. You know, it can go either way from a negative to a positive. But that's all we are, man. We're lights. We're all lights. We're, we're possibilities of anything, man. 
we can possibly be anything from a dark perspective or a light perspective we can possibly be anything man so i try not to set the bar low for anyone or set the bar high for anyone man i just try to meet people where they are leave it open and uh, let it play out i know that's that's a challenge you know i don't i don't bat a thousand on that uh but i i think it's something we need to do just allow people to be who they are to be possibilities to be whatever they're going to be and not uh see them as resources that uh are, are faulty free that are going to do the same thing day in and day out it's not realistic brothers and sisters it's not realistic toasters but as always man as always from me to you love peace